LSU is facing several lawsuits from one of its own employees tonight. It comes as the university faces ongoing accusations of covering up sexual harassment allegations in the athletic department. Danny Monteverdi has a look at the lawsuit and what that employee wants. LSU Associate Athletic Director of Football Recruiting Sharon Lewis is suing the university for $50 million. She says LSU retaliated against her after she reported alleged sexual harassment by former head coach Les Miles. Attorneys for Lewis said Wednesday morning that lawsuit would be filed in federal court in Baton Rouge within 24 hours. In it, Lewis alleges a hostile work environment under Miles. Among the allegations, Miles said student female workers Lewis hired looked like, quote, a bad bowling team, and that another coach told her Miles would stop bothering her if she hired, quote, prettier girls, more light-skinned black girls. She was iced out of certain meetings, all to protect an image, talking points, narratives, and the football program at LSU. Lewis was not at Wednesday's press conference, but attorneys for the former LSU track star say she faced backlash from her colleagues after she wouldn't bow to Miles' demands. She also reportedly would hide from Miles when she heard him in the hallways of LSU's athletics headquarters. No human being should have to suffer. To have to hide under your desk. Can you imagine what it's like to go to work and all your co-workers are turning their backs on you? Not inviting you to meetings? Treating you like you have some kind of disease? It'll give you a nervous breakdown, which is what she had. In light of the lawsuits, LSU says it will not send any of its employees to the Capitol tomorrow. Several were set to testify in front of a Senate committee that is hearing about complaints similar to those Lewis has lodged. Reporting at federal court in Baton Rouge, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. And we have continuing coverage of the LSU sexual harassment investigation on WWLTV.com, our app, and of course our social media pages. Danny Monteverdi will have more on the story coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6.